Tres Leches Cake, which means three milked cake, a popular Mexican dessert. It has a soft and light sponge cake that is soaked in a sweet milk mixture and topped with whipped cream. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am making a vegan version of Mango Tres Leches Cake inspired by Thailand's popular dessert Mango Sticky Rice. So let's begin with making mango sponge cake. For this I have taken around one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half teaspoon of baking powder and half teaspoon of salt. For the wet ingredients I have taken half cup of mango puree, two third cup of castor sugar or cane sugar, half cup of any non-dairy milk I am using oat milk. 2 tsp apple cider vinegar, 1 third cup of vegetable oil and 1 tablespoon of wet pure vanilla extract. First, whisk the apple cider vinegar with the non-dairy milk. So here I am using oat milk, you can also use almond milk or coconut milk and set it aside for a few minutes. Sift the dry ingredients that is all-purpose flour baking soda, baking powder and salt. Once it is sifted, mix them together and keep it aside. Add the rest of the wet ingredients to the milk and vinegar mixture. Also add the castor sugar and combine it well into a homogeneous mixture. If you are using a frozen mango, thaw it to the room temperature and then blend it in a blender to make the mango puree. So you can use either frozen mango or the fresh mango. Combine the wet ingredients really well with the castor sugar so that you get a homogeneous mixture and then fold in the dry ingredients in batches and mix it well until there are no lumps. So here I am baking the cake in a 9 inch square pan. Prep the cake pan by spraying it with oil and place a parchment paper or a baking paper. Transfer the cake batter into the uh, prepared cake pan and bake the cake batter in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes or until the toothpick inserted comes out clean. So while the cake is baking, let's prepare the non-dairy milk syrup. So here I've taken 3 4 cup of sweetened coconut condensed milk, 6 tablespoon of coconut evaporated milk and 6 tablespoon of coconut milk. So whisk the sweetened coconut condensed milk really well so that there are no lumps and then add in the other two liquids. Mix all these three liquids really well. So here I am using a store bought sweetened coconut condensed milk and coconut evaporated milk. How to make these liquids at home? Please uh, check the description box below for the links. So next is to prepare the frosting. So here I am using 400 ml can of coconut whipping cream which has been placed in the refrigerator for around 6 to 8 hours. 1 tablespoon of pure vanilla extract and uh, 1 eighth to 1 fourth cup of uh, castor sugar. So you can adjust the sugar level according to your sweetness. So I am using only 1 eighth cup. Whisk the coconut whipping cream until you get a right consistency. So coconut whipped cream will not be stiff like a regular uh, dairy whipped cream. So that's why you need to whip it and place it in the refrigerator, preferably overnight or at least for 6 to 8 hours. 
Once the cake is completely cool, remove the baking paper which is placed underneath the cake and uh, make holes in the cake using a toothpick. Slowly drizzle the prepared non-dairy milk syrup on the cake. So once the milk syrup is drizzled on the cake, keep it at room temperature for 1 to 2 hours or until all liquid is soaked in by the cake. So once it is completely absorbed, place the cake in the refrigerator until we wait for the coconut whipped cream to be set for frosting. Once the coconut whipped cream is set in the refrigerator and the cake has absorbed the liquid, frost the cake. Use an offset spatula to even out the frosting. So here I have used just the half of the whipped cream. The remaining you can use it as toppings for waffles or eat it with fruit compote as a quick dessert. Put few drops or dollops of mango puree on the frosted cake and let your creativity flow to make any designs you want with the puree. Keep the frosted cake in the refrigerator for an hour to set and then it is ready to be served. The cake can stay in the refrigerator for a week but make sure to place it in an airtight container as the liquid can dry out over time. I've also tried a mango sponge cake using coconut sugar. So this will result in a dark colored cake and also a little bit sticky. So you can try either with castor sugar or coconut sugar. Please do try this recipe and let me know your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.